Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's time for, I think this is going to be a fun vlog. I do. Firstly, I just washed my hair and it is feeling nice and fresh. I have to say, I use the air wrap so I'm praying that this holds. I've tried a new technique to make it hold so let's see. I think I need to switch my barrel though because this side definitely needs to be facing the other way. I'm just getting back into it. Anyway, the vlog's not about that but so I would tell you anyway, I've been summoned to this bathroom because Matt is watching the football so loudly, you can hear it in the whole house. So I'm trying to talk really loudly so you can't watch it. But basically, Saturday is football day. Comment below if your partner also, or maybe you, watches football on a Saturday. One thing I did want to tell you about though, just while I'm talking about the hair, I use this product. Apparently, everyone loves this product and I only just tried it for the first time today and I genuinely think it's worked. It's made my hair look so shiny and healthy. I basically just spray it all over my hair, like saturated my hair wet with it. And here we are, hello. So I'm excited about that. I don't know why I've never used it before, but I feel like it's gonna change my life. Apparently it's TikTok viral, so I will link this below if you want it. So thank you so much to Colour Wow for sending me this. I have to say my colour was annoying me a little bit and I'm pretty certain it's from New York walk to Miami walk to travelling. Even though I'd washed my hair, it just felt icky. And honestly, I feel like my colour looks back to fresh and back to new after that, so I'm very, very happy. Okay, so, that's... Today is an exciting one because I am going wedding dress shopping with my friend to one of our favourite wedding dress designers. You may have watched my other vlog where I was basically saying that we were invited to the runway show at the Bulgari Hotel. And this is a brand that I have been pinning for years and years and years. This is not an ad, by the way. She's a paying customer. After the runway show, my friend was like, oh my goodness, I have to get my evening dress from them. So I was like, okay, I'm going to email some places in London and see who stocks this brand. I found a place in Knightsbridge, actually, where my other friend bought her wedding dresses from. Wedding dresses, she got three from there. And they had an appointment today, so three of us are going and we're just gonna try on the fairy dresses of dreams. And this is so special, apart from the fact that, wow, my friend is literally trying on the most insane wedding dresses, is because they just had their runway show. And the place I'm going has all of the items from the runway show right now in their store, only until Monday. So they were like, we can rush you through an appointment if your friend needs one for me. And I was like, ah! Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. So I basically have three weddings this year. And it made me think I also want to talk to you guys about wedding guest dresses because I actually ordered some the other day. So let's quickly show you those and then off to try some wedding dresses we go i just popped this on my skin so nice i'm feeling quite clammy and also i'm still having an issue with my eye for my dermatitis so just keeping the skin super hydrated and i do have an lms promo code so i'll leave that on screen and link it below don't forget to use that get some savings on lms so here are some initial wedding guest dresses that i have to try so i thought i would quickly pop these on and we can talk about some wedding guest dresses Okay, so this is the first one, and bear in mind I'm very pale right now. When I'm tan, I think it's gonna look so much better, but I can't fasten it up. I read the reviews and everyone was like, oh, it's really big. It's not. I even asked Matt, and Matt was like, no, you need to size up. But I know this is like very out there for a wedding, or maybe you think it's not. Comment below and let me know. I'm going to a wedding in Lake Como, and I just feel like even for the first night when we're getting boats this my friend was like i want everyone to be so dressed up and i just think wearing this with a tan on a boat in lake como i feel like a sugar plum princess what do you think sorry if you can see matt's leg in the background but next is this one which oh my gosh i actually love it looks like it has a strap it doesn't this I never wear this colour. This is like a navy blue. I actually ordered this for my Miami trip, but sadly it was one day too late. It fits like a glove. It's really nice and satiny. I love the front of it. I think when I'm tanned, this is going to look so much nicer, but I really, really like this. I think this would be a lovely wedding guest dress, actually. Can you have your shoulders out for a wedding? I'm pretty certain you can. I mean, obviously I will run them past the brides, but I think it looks darker on camera than it is in real life. It's actually like a really lovely blue colour. I think they did this in other colours as well. I think they did this in white, and I would love that, but obviously not to wear as a wedding guest. Okay, next up, I think this is such a cute vibe for an Italian wedding. Also, I saw on Instagram that we're meant to have the hottest March to date in England. So this would be just stunning for England in March, apparently. I hope that happens. It's giving me temporary London vibes. 
it's Revolve. I will I will link everything on this video below. But oh, the quality of this is honestly incredible. I think I'm going to be wearing this all spring and summer long. Wedding guest aside, I think this is like more of a low key wedding dress guest. You know, you can kind of pop it with sandals or you could dress it up if you don't want to go like so over the top like the first Sugar Plum Fairy, but I'm not gonna lie. I like the Sugar Plum Fairy. And if you like the Sugar Plum Fairy, please comment and tell me if you like the Sugar Plum Fairy. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with this. Is this too bright for a wedding or is this fine for a summer wedding? I love this. I saw it on the website and I was like, I am obsessed. It's so comfy, it's so easy to wear. Again, dress it up or down. I just think this is gonna be the perfect summer holiday dress as well, like this in the Maldives or in the south of France. I really like it. It's making me want to go and put some fake tan on and do the try on. Now I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm going to help my friend try on wedding dresses. And she was like, I want you to try some on as well. And I'm like, I personally feel more confident with the tan. But oh, I love this so much, so much. If you can see washing behind me, it's because it's admin washing day. And even though I did my washing in the US on my trip, I was away for like just over two weeks, I still managed to accumulate a lot of washing. So I have like all of my piles out. I've got like my laundry pile that's like my towels and I've got my whites and I've got my darks. Just wanna say, it's real life. So next I got this, which again is nice and low key. I feel like it's one of those dresses that you could absolutely dress up or dress down. And I kind of like it because it's a little bit knitted and it also has sparkles on it. Also, I'm getting rid of this cupboard outside. I need to talk to you guys about home things, but I really like it. This feels very comfy and I'm very much into things that can be dressed up or dressed down. So comfy. I didn't expect to like this one as much as I do, but I think this is so nice. I don't own anything like this and I've actually never seen anything like this. It's very different. I love like this woody kind of neck detailing. I think it really adds something. Love that it's kind of this off the shoulder and because it's like this really nice knitted, it just hooks the body so nicely and gives it quite like a dressed up look. I feel like with heels, this would be really, really nice. What do you think? But it's like simple, but then not simple because it's got this. So I really like it. What a way to kind of like dress up a jumper dress. I also had to show you these. I love this so much. It reminds me of a dress that I wore to a wedding in Edinburgh years ago in summer. I love the one shoulderness and I love how floaty it is. It's perfect. Then this one may be a bit too much of a white base for a wedding, but equally so nice for spring. I think I'm going to wear this throughout the whole of spring. I just had to show you these because I think they're so cute. We'll link everything beneath the video. Which I actually got from Miami because I really wanted it for the bejeweled night, but Oh my goodness, right now I cannot actually get into it. I'm gonna need some serious, serious help. So I'm gonna park that one and try that on when I have some help to get into this because Matt has left the room. Okay, obviously not as a wedding guest, but maybe just in summer or if you are the bride, I think this is the most beautiful dress. I love it, I saw it on the website. I'm not really wearing it properly because so I need to add a stick on bra but I just love it. Like look how nice the mesh is and the polka dot. And these are adjustable. I really, really like this. Oh, that makes me excited for summer. I just think the detailing on it is absolutely stunning. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm now going to get changed. What do we even wear to go to a wedding dress fitting? And I am going to head over to meet my friend and then we're going to walk to Knightsbridge. So really excited about this. I even have bridal flowers for the occasion today because these arrived from my flower subscription. I have a full vitamin shelf. I talk about these a lot. I'm about to hit pan on them, but I'm on like my fourth month of these and I genuinely, genuinely think they are helping my hair get thicker. I'm going to link them below. It's like a daily thing I take and I just love them. This is my like little vitamin collection to remind me, and I need to tidy this up, but to take them every single day, my vitamin D, my magnesium. Someone told me that this helps with clenching at the jaw because it's meant to like help with muscles and stuff, relaxation, so, so far so good. And then these sachets, I've shown you these in so many vlogs, I take them again every day. So if you would like me to do more of an in-depth review and talk about vitamins, then I will, because I'm obsessed, but I will link them below as well. Here we go. Looks at the morning. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much. Ah, there, she goes. <laughs> there we are. Cheers, girl. Cheers. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, the love that. The green one is really good. 
Because you could go crazy, crazy with your jewelry. I want like big gold platforms. You don't want the sparkly heels? That no. has sparkly shorts on your room. That's incredible. Oh my god. I know. Yeah. They're just so sparkly. Oh, I love it. Reminds me of the Mil Miller, Mila one that I wore to the opera. Just incredible. I love, I, I don't think my boobs are big enough to fill these though. Oh, no, me neither. They would need some serious adjustment. Yeah, stuff them. So I always thought I would go for something like princessy like this. Mm -hmm. But now, I kind of think I actually like something like this. I know I'm not getting married, but when I watched the catwalk, I basically watched her walk down in one like this. And it was so classic. I was like, actually, I would love that for the day and then go sexy in the night. So this is very, like, traditional Berta. It's funny because I never see you in gowns. So it's going to be so, I would love to see you. She's here. Hey, Emily's also not getting married. She's just joining in for the fun. I would love to see you in a in a wedding dress. This one. Oh my gosh. See, I can see you in that. That is divine, isn't it? I kind of don't know how I feel about the fact that they have shorts in them. I think I, I like it's very it. Fun. Yeah, it's very fun. But yeah, actually, oh, this is nice. So I've honestly changed my entire opinion of what I wanted as a future wedding dress after so watching the gorgeous. runway show. I know. Oh, <gasps> is she in it? Can I film? Can I film you? <laughs> oh, you look amazing. Oh, I like the shorts. I like the shorts. The shorts work. <laughs> Do you like a princess? Yeah. <laughs> and what's nice is it's completely different from the day. Oh my. Look at your body. You look insane. You pixie princess. She's a pixie princess. Talia was like, I don't mind about dancing in this one. It's only the evening dress. It's fine. This one's not a secret. <laughs> I like I like yeah, the lag. Oh my god, I love it. So you look amazing. And I'm not supposed to like them. Of course you are. She was like, I hope I hate them all. I was like, it's Bertie, you're gonna be obsessed yeah, with them exactly. all. I just love how sparkly it is. I know, yeah. and that's what we picked up on. When we, when we saw the show, we were like, the sparkles are just insane. The level of detail. Runaway bride. <laughs> Cheers, no runaway brides. <laughs> I want this. Yeah, but if it's an evening dress, is it bad luck to try it on when you're not engaged? Like, couldn't this just be a party evening dress? Oh. These are the classic ones. <gasps> Oh wow, so these aren't actually Berta. I'm, no, I'm not into my wedding dress brands, funnily enough. <laughs> oh, they give me kind of like Pippa Middleton. Oh, this is Vivian Westwood. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh wow. This is completely different. So different. This is giving me like ballet dancer vibes. I feel like this one kind of works better in the sense of the dress I already have. Yes. Okay. But I don't know. I think I prefer the other one. I prefer the other one. Yeah. Okay. I thought I prefer. Tinkerbelly for me. It's too whimsical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is a vibe, though. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, incredible. That's a vibe, but no, the other one, hundred yeah. percent. I actually think I just love the over-the-top sparkles of the other one. Yeah. Yeah, and also because I look so young in general, I feel like... It's a good thing, it's a good thing. Maybe I do look like I'm playing. I'm just saying to Emily, how yeah, special that we <laughs> have this to come at some point. See the whole look. Exciting. <laughs> no, but I don't think you should like force your boyfriend to propose. We're fine. We're independent women, but I, it makes me excited that eventually, like the two of us and all our other friends, we're gonna have bachelorettes and hen parties and weddings. Yeah, and seeing. I'm not jealous. I'm like loving it. It's so fun. Like when I went dress shopping with Josie, I was like, this is so emotional. I was crying every time she came out in a different dress. Yeah, uh, I am actually. Yeah, I'm actually really enjoying spectating. Yeah, happy to spectate. And then we'll get the ring eventually, but right now we're good without the ring, aren't we? I'm more than happy. I feel like it's one of those things that's not feel on anyone in life, and when it does happen, it's gonna be incredible. Matt always says to me, a wedding. We know we love each other. We're pretty much married anyway, but a wedding is a big party for everyone we love. Yeah. And then when like everything happened with my grandma, I was kind of like, I don't even want to get married now because she's not gonna be there. So what's the point? So it's kind of set me back a bit. Which is sad, but I think it's a lovely thought to think that most of the people that you love in your life are all going to be in one room and that's probably one of the only chances that's going to happen, which is really special. Well, we were saying the other day, it's so crazy thinking about what we have to come. Yes. And we love that we're on this side with everything to come. There's a quote that says something like, ah, what an amazing feeling that the best days of your life haven't happened yet. And we've had some amazing days. It's only going to get better. I love that. Oh, so they're actually, they're tights with shoes in them. Wow. 
So they should be completely fitted. Okay. But she's a teeny tiny Tinkerbell. And they're really fun. They're actually they're really so nice. Yeah. But it's this way for me. Let me get them for the hen. <laughs> Every day on the hen. I prefer this than I do these. Yeah. I like this. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I love these, but I love The dress love is like dress. Pippa Middleton dress. vibes, in yes. my opinion. It's really nice. Yes. The way it's fitted is just divine. I still prefer the first one, though. Yeah, so. This feels like a different purpose. Yeah. This is like, this could be like rehearsal dinner. Okay. I just I think like it's like the classiest dress I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it looks The way it really pinches at the waist and yeah. the way it kind of comes out is, it's a yeah, work of art. This is and I was like, I think that's the classiest dress I've ever seen in my whole yeah. entire life. But obviously not for a party, this would be like a day dress. Yeah, this is like a, this is I, like a Yeah, dress. I'm obsessed with that. Oh, it's absolutely <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> I just think yeah. it's stunning. I actually think that with a low back or a bow would be yeah. the most perfect dress well, I've ever seen, yeah. And you can do stuff like that. Yeah, like that's yeah, the thing, yeah. you can just be like, I want this dress, but could you add this? Absolutely, you can have <gasps> any accessory. Uh, wow, okay, I'm upset. Oh my gosh, yeah, a lot. <laughs> a ton yeah. Of yeah. Yeah. Little yeah. pixie. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Put the other two on, we were like, oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. Let me just make sure. Is there any other short ones here that I've Talia, tell the vlog your thoughts. By the way, hi, this is Talia. Hi, Talia gave me approval, I'm allowed to film this. <laughs> Very excited. I feel so stressed because now I want more dresses. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I know. I love this one. Though. Well, you look gorgeous in everything. I feel like if you get the other one, the stunning one, you can have like a, a shopping oh. day, shoes. <gasps> yeah, you can. You can have a full girly day for it. Okay, I know I'm not getting married, but the girls are making me try one on. <laughs> In the hot seat. I'm in the hot seat now. So <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Turn to face me. Oh my gosh, they were so nice. Are you eating a protein bar? No, I'm eating chocolate. Oh, I was... Carbo. 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 She never mean to call me. I was just saying because Emily and I always have protein bars in our bag, and I was like, I always have a panic protein bar in my bag. Oh, I was no, saying, Talia. Oh, um, <laughs> oh damn! Is it still open now? Talia, yeah. you've never been. You wanna, shall we take you quickly? We can go to Carpo, Yeah. We'll just show you. Um, that was an amazing experience, wasn't it? Was yeah. So <laughs> I, love I loved it. I loved it. And so fun. oh my gosh, she was phenomenal. It's called the Wedding Club in Knightsbridge. The service was amazing, and we're all on a high. It's so nice. So let's quickly take you to Carpo. Yes. Yay! I know I'm not getting married, but it was an evening dress that I tried on, and it's very exciting. Like it's it's really quite tall. I don't know if you can tell how tall it is, but also it's so busy here tonight. Saturday night. Saturday night. We need to like get different things that aren't just the chocolates because we basically always get the chocolates. I had these mixed chocolate daisies the other day. I know, we need to try these kind of things instead. And they have bee pollen and royal jelly. I love bee pollen so much. Hazelnut paste, that would be delicious. These are new and some of them are sweetened with stevia and some of them are sweetened with like, I don't know, they're all different and they're all incredible. And they just put them in a bag for you. My favorite. Thank you! <laughs> Yay! So we've all gone our separate ways now, just walking home. But Matt and I are going to do a little pizza night tonight because we have some amazing cheese that's going to go off <laughs> and we want to get pizzas. Actually, one of my favourite stores in Chelsea, it's an Italian store. I'm really hoping to have some dough because we have some dough but it's in the freezer because we're hosting a pizza party soon and I don't want to use that dough because I'm saving it for the pizza party. So I'm hoping that this Italian shop, they do like really nice cheeses and cannoli and meats. So I'm gonna, I'm on a mission to get some mushrooms, some pepperoni and some dough. So let's see what they have in there. like ready-made bases which would have been fun but we want to use the pizza oven so on to the next shop to try and find some good morning my friends i wasn't going to vlog today i'm heading to see emily and i was like i'm not going to vlog today 
But the reason I'm going to vlog is because I cut off last night's, <gasps> that's called the maple building. My doggie's got maple. I cut off the vlog really quite abruptly last night because what did we plan to do last night, Matt, for dinner? We planned to use the Unoni. It's not Unoni, it's Uni. <laughs> Uni. Unoni, Uni. We just wanted to have a cute date night pizza night, didn't we? And I could not find dough, guys. I'm sorry. I should have just let Matt take it out of the freezer. And you know, I googled it this morning and the dough that's in the fridge is actually fine to use, I think. It says that you can like revive sourdough. It's not a sourdough starter, it's just like a, a ball of dough. But apparently it's fine. Like, as, as, if it's not crispy, we can revive it. So I think we could probably use that tonight. I didn't think it'd be fine. Yeah, it looks fine. Basically, it says if dough smells, then it's gone off. But it can last for up to a week. So when did you unbox it? About a week. So well, why don't we just box. risk it? It'll be fine. It might just not rise as much. So anyway, we planned to have a cute pizza night last night. But we realised that the cheese that we have in the fridge that we're saving for our official pizza night hasn't it, it doesn't go off because you can freeze it. I did not know that you could freeze cheese. Anyway, I checked the website, you apparently can. We are now just heading over to East. We're actually just at Borough Market. I don't think we've ever driven through Borough Market in our car. This is cute. Um, although I can't even show you because it's under loads of construction. Heading over to meet Emily because she's basically made a list of some food places that she wants to show me today. And oh my goodness, can I just say last night was so special like seeing my friend talia try on incredible dresses i can't wait i got to try on a party dress and i'm just grateful the gratitude i have so 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 special so incredible so we're gonna celebrate with some nice food today we're gonna go to dalston first i haven't been to dalston in years i went there to do a shoot for ace or years ago so that's what we're doing you excited to eat i'm very hungry I'm so hungry. First spot is a place called the Dusty Knuckle, and to be honest, it's a bit late. They might have sold out. Emily was like, they do sell out. But she's like, please come and see me. We need to get Dusty Knuckle. So Dusty Knuckle it is. Famous Dusty Knuckle Bakery. Bringing us here, baby. <laughs> She's back. What did you go for? Oh my god, you got so I got, much. I love I this. I got three. I got two pounds of No, it looks like a lot because they're so big. And one for tomorrow. And I also got the festival. <laughs> nummy, nummy. I got the fruit good, custard right? bun. Oh, Matt's already started. <laughs> Pan and chocolate. How I like Nice little bit of crisp on the outside. Mmm, the custard. The feta. Bacon sandwich time. Let's see how this is. On potato sourdough. Very well wrapped this. Mmm. You can get it out. It smells amazing. <laughs> We're both like the smell. Oh my goodness, baby, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. So the custard bun was good, very orangey, but still really good. It reminded me of buns from home, which is in Chelsea, and I love it. And Notting Hill. The real star of the show was this sourdough bacon and egg sandwich. It was so good. Okay, we're gonna go to Old Press next to get a drink. I always love this road. I think it's got such nice little shops on it. It's got such good curb appeal. Shoreditch Nails. We love Old Press. Roastery. <laughs> So we had our coffee, next stop is Papo's Bagels. Pray for me because the TikTok said that they sell out at 1pm and we're here and it's 1pm. I hope they have something left. Apparently these are the best bagels. I mean there's no line which is... Oh, don't know, I can smell side. bagels though, I can oh, smell so bagels. Cool. Yeah, I can see people coming out with bagels. They had some bagels there. They had some, they didn't have the everything bagel. But they did have a cinnamon raisin and they also had just like standard ones, so I got them. Salmon and cream cheese, yummy, yummy, yummy. Emily's still on the dusty knuckle hype. Nummy, 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 in my tummy. So good. Someone commented on my New York vlog and said, sorry, not for me, there's too much food on here. And I'm like, oh no, there's too much food on this one now. You got wedding dresses and food. So the bagel shop, it wasn't a fair test because they only had like limited bagels today and we got that late so I didn't get to try the everything bagel. I have to say, 
sorry, it wasn't the best bagel I've ever had. As someone who's just been around New York on a bagel hunt, it didn't hit the same. But there is a place in London called, what's a bagel place that we're obsessed with in Soho? Oh, no, no B Bagel. Soho. <gasps> B Bagel, that is so good. Why are people not talking mm -hmm. about that? Mm -hmm. Their everything bagel is sensational. So the reason it wasn't a fair test for that spot is because I didn't get the everything bagel. I got a cinnamon one. I didn't show you it because it was just like layered in butter. It wasn't that great. Matt did like his though. That was nice. But how much B better is B Bagel? bagel? See? B Bagel is the best. Oh, B Bagel is so good. So, we are now heading to Jolene. We're doing a, we're doing a crawl while we're in East. Cool. Heading to Jolene because apparently it's another amazing bakery. Apparently it's called like Big Joe's and then or Big Joe Bakery and then they have loads of different ones like one in Shoreditch. Didn't know that. One in maybe Stoke Newington. I don't know. But we're heading there now. Let's go. Yay. Oh no, good, good job that we didn't want coffee. Broken. Look at the sourdough. I think we should put it for wine one night. Look how cute it is. Crumble cake and we got some sourdough. Cute little spot. Definitely want to do a date day here. They have a sale, we have to go in. I love the vintage pieces in here. I actually have this in blue stripe. Oh, so they have vintage pieces too. What? Oh, I didn't realize that that was Alvi. He knows. I just wanted to pop in to look at the sale, but sadly they don't have any of the dresses that I want, but they do have this one, and they have this top that I really, really like. Gorgeous, 70% off actually. And a second Jolene in Shoreditch, but they're sold out of most things. Now it's actually lunchtime. Smells so good, doesn't it? Emily and Matt finally going to Manteca. I feel but it's really good. It's my favorite focaccia. a lot of food but we did pace ourselves we're just back in the car now because we've been out all day wandering around trying lots of nice hot spots manteca i've actually been for meetings but emily and matt have never been before it was really good the service is like okay but you don't go for the service you go for the food really really nice spot the pasta is amazing and the potatoes were amazing it's a seasonal menu really really great so i hope you enjoyed coming along for this vlog showing you some wedding dresses with my friends and then showing you some food thank you so much for watching as always everything that i mentioned will be linked below come say on instagram and twitter and i will see you next time